a 37-year-old man, comes to the physician, because of a six-month history of chest pain, that occurs, when he swallows food. He has had, a 20-pound weight loss, during this period. He has not had heartburn, or increased sensitivity in his hands, to cold temperatures. He is 5 feet 10 inches tall, and now weighs 130 pounds. BMI is 19. Physical examination shows, no abnormalities. A barium swallow shows, esophageal dilation. Manometry shows, a high resting pressure, at the lower esophageal sphincter. There is little, or no decrease in pressure, associated with swallowing. Which of the following, is the most likely diagnosis? This, is a case of achalasia cardia. Characterized, by failure of relaxation of lower esophageal sphincter. Difficulty in swallowing food. Barium swallow showing, esophageal dilation. Manometry showing, high resting pressure of, lower esophageal sphincter. All point, towards this diagnosis. Absence of heartburn, helps rule out GERD. Absence of increased sensitivity, in his hand to cold, Raynaud's phenomenon, helps rule out, systemic sclerosis. Achalasia is a relatively uncommon condition that I see commonly in my clinic. It is a disease that affects the esophagus, and specifically the junction between the esophagus and the stomach, called the lower esophageal sphincter. So this is the esophagus as it comes down from the mouth through the chest, and this is our diaphragm that's the separation between the chest and the, and the belly. And this is the stomach, and the, the valve usually sits over here. Achalasia is a condition where the valve between the esophagus and the stomach fails to open. It also has a failure of the esophagus to contract um, in an organized fashion to propel the food down. Therefore, there's a blockage of this area that keeps people from being able to eat normally. And this is often mistaken for acid reflux because it's difficult to tell when food is coming back up from the stomach or food is just sitting there. The diagnosis of achalasia can be uh, difficult to make. However, it can be made by a primary care physician or a gastroenterologist based on a few tests. The first test I would recommend is an endoscopy where they put a camera down through the mouth into the stomach to see if there is any other reasons why there would be a blockage such as cancer or stricture or narrowing from acid reflux. If that is not present, but the valve still appears tight or has high pressure, that is suggestive of achalasia. There is a barium esophagram where you drink some contrast and watch the, the contrast go down the esophagus and get blocked at the level of the sphincter or the, the junction. And the last one is a, something called a manometry where we measure the pressure in the esophagus and the valve. Most often we find that the pressure at the valve, which is here, is very high and there is no organized contraction in the esophagus in the other parts. With these tests, we can reliably confirm the presence of achalasia.